What's up everybody? Traxxas Mike from My RC Life. Today uh, I want to fix the X-Max. We had a little uh, problem the other day out running on the ice. Um, I've already taken the lug nut off. Tire off. And as you can see right away, <clears throat> I think it's not this, but it's the inner part of the bearing, I think. Two and a two, two and a half and a three millimeter. Pretty much all you need to work on this truck, or most of it, anyways. Okay, you're gonna want to pop this little uh, clip off here. That little guy. And your hex should come off. Pop that bearing out. Okay, now I do believe. That one has to come out. That's just a pin holder. One of those deals. Like a lot of the stuff on an X Max has. Pull out your pin. You're gonna want to take this off as well. Your turn tie rod end or whatever. Pop that out. I'm just gonna do this. If you've watched many of my videos, you'll notice I do that a lot. Next, we need to get this off. And as you can see, this thing's been <laughs> bagged on a lot. And the hole is kind of smoothed over. So i got to sit the camera down while I work on that. we go Ooh. I dug it out with my pick and then I just put that on there and just pushed down real hard and just kind of went back and forth and you probably heard it click on the camera but it should back right on out all right See how rusty it was around there? I'll have to clean that up with a little bit of Scotch Bright. I don't know where Scotch Bright at Bright is at, but this brass brush will be fine. Yeah, that feels a lot better. The pins for the top and bottom are the same size, so you don't got to worry about getting them mixed up. Okay, the next, <clears throat> this should come off. Yep, that was the inner bearing. You can see it right there. Okay, so now, now you pull out all those parts I am always telling you to save. All right, here's the inner part of that bearing. Boom. Pull the axle shaft all the way out. Here is the rubber seal, the inner ball bearing part of the race deal. And then the only thing we're missing is the whole inner race or whatever. And it's right there on the uh, 
axle there. You need an actual special specialty tool to um, to get this off. Um, you might have to go to your local uh, Traxxas store and pick one up. It's called a persuasion stick. Um, any any type of work. I'll get your little uh, regular screwdriver. Flip it 180 degrees, or sometimes I do it 90 degrees at a time. They get stuck on there pretty good. I can already see they're starting to get a space. So it is working. How do you get it gapped out quite a ways? You can get the screwdriver in there and give it a twist. Bam, comes out just like that. So now, we have all the parts to our bearing. And uh, now we're gonna size it up to another one. Bam, right there guys. No, 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 that is not the right one. Oh wait, I do have one new one, don't I? Nope, that's not the right one either. But this used one right here will work just fine. All right, that's rolling really good. And we'll give it a shot of lithium grease after I get it all installed back in the truck. All right, one other thing I'm going to do too is I'm going to go ahead and clean up the outer surface where that bearing goes on because it was, ooh, I just noticed something else too. Look at how badly wore out where my pin goes through in that uh, outer drive there. That's going to need replaced soon. I mean, the bearing. Yeah, I can just use this inner race that I peeled off here, for example. This bearing slides over, so, I mean, it's going to hold that pin from coming out. But these are needing replaced, as you can see. Look at that, guys. That's where I'm getting some on turns and things like that. Now the inner part, that's all steel. That don't look half bad. I mean, you know, I mean, for what I put it through. But that aluminum part there, yeah, that don't, uh, that don't like all that wear and tear near as much. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna clean up this surface. I'm interested to see if the front two are just doing this or if the back two are also doing this. I'm going to have to pull them off and check them all. Um, right now is a good time to check. I have um, these brand new Knuckles 7740, 7754X and it's a good time right now to check them and see the rat. All right, you pull a screw out, a screw in there. You pull that out, and then these slide right out. Um, I mean that's obviously war, but I ain't changing it. Um. I'm going to run it until it breaks and maybe I'll put the new ones on if I need to buy new axles ever, then I'll put the new ones on. But until then, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, run it. It's an X-Max. Run it.
<laughs> All right. So we checked that, made sure there was no stress fractures or anything silly on that, which there wasn't. Um, so I'm going to stick him back in there. All right. Okay. This was the bearing that went out on us. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this on first, I'm guessing. If you have tr problems getting them on, you can try to, you know, put it in the edge of your vice grips like this. Try to pull. Yeah, see, kind of like that. Now I kind of got a starting on there. I should have got some sandpaper out and sanded on these a little bit rather than just trying to clean it up a little bit with a wire brush. Now, if you're doing this, you don't just want to cramp right down on them and force them because then you're going to tear up the inside part of your bearing and it ain't going to roll real smooth like that. Okay, so now we got that. You can have this out. And uh, do what you need to do here first. Like this, you want to show that bearing. Whoops. Or you can pull on this as well. Oh crap, I got to get my other bearing for there. There's my inner bearing. Or outer bearing. Okay. And you pull on this there. Now I see that bearing sets all the way back in there. Now that's a nice tight fit again. Slide this in, your dog bone there. Remember, that'll get your thing the right way. Your dog bone goes in. And then right up top, your pins. Remember, these pins are in pretty rough, crappy shape. Alright, holes lined up right there. Bam, give it a little bit of that. And then you don't really got to put any on the pin because it's going to get someone that goes down in that hole there. Perfect. Grab your re pin retainer and one of the pin retainer bolts. Tighten that down with your two and a half millimeter. Okay. Um, maybe three millimeter. Back this long screw out a little bit. Hook the tie rod back up. That's a little bit. I uh, got a little bit of crappy rust on it. It moves freely. So, you know what? It could still use. A little shot. A little shot spinning around there. She loves life again. One thing I do love about what Traxxas did with this truck is okay, where this deal that tie rod goes in, you can't push it past like where it goes like watch it's got a shoulder right there that it hits against so you just shove it in see that shoulder so this thing can't go like too far this way or whatever you just hold it like that way start your screw Alright, 
put a little white lithium grease in there. Slide the pin in. This was that one bad screw that was on the bottom. I'm going to put this one on the top. And, um... And um, where it's all, the plastic's all messed up, I'm just going to run a file on it. Okay, pin retainers in and tight. Hex, wheel hex. That goes on. It's almost there. It's going on really hard. It actually needs to go in a little more. I screwed up the splines. Because I uh, had my vice grips on there. Trying to get that bearing on stupidly like I did. So what I'm going to do now to force that hex on. So I can get this guy on. is Because um, the hex is on there almost all the way. I just can't get like the last quarter inch. Because the spline's a little messed up. I'm going to tighten this down. And that this should suck. The wheel hex out or the bearing out and, and push the wheel hex in all the way we will find out if my calculations were correct here in a second yep as you can see it worked it's pushed on all the way now so yeah I guess be really careful don't do you know like what I tell people uh, Sometimes you can learn from things I'm teaching you. Sometimes you can learn from my mistakes. Bam, that slips back on just like that. Oh, we can put the tire and rim back on for a second time. Make sure you put these on the right way. That smooth side goes out. The back side has a little, uh, like, nicked edges or whatever. And, like, sometimes... They'll, like this tire today, like when I went to take it off, it was pretty loose. It was probably going to fall off soon if the bearing didn't, wouldn't have went. But what I'll do sometimes is lay my file sideways. Do something like that. Three different spots you can lay the file sideways on. Here you could do this with a Dremel. Even if you just scratched it up with something and gave it a little something to dig into the rim and hold it, that would probably even help. Okay. Sometimes I may use some blue Loctite on a wheel, but that's like usually on like a Savage Flux. On my Savage Flux, I always use Loctite on the wheels. All right, guys. The X-Max is back, two thumbs up, ready to roll tomorrow. Can't wait to get out on the lake. All right, guys, I'm Trex's Mike from My RC Life, and I'll see you later. Bye.